Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just going to explain to you on how to find the integral using the substitution method. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel so that you won't be missing out. So the first example is evaluate each of the following of which we have been given the integral of 2x over x squared um x squared plus 5 to the power 3 over 2 so if you look at that this uh question cannot be easily solved using the using the exponential uh property so the only way we can solve this one is by using the substitution method so i'm going to say solution so when using the substitution method i need to analyze this question so the only way i can work it out is by replacing the denominator so let's say if i say let u be equal to x squared plus 5 okay so if i let u be equal to x squared plus 5 what am i going to have so what i'm going to have as my integral my integral will look like something like this then you surely know that i'm going to have this integral it's going to be like um 2x over u to the power 3 over 2 because um i have replaced this integral down there and then there is a what a dx there okay so since i'm having two values but i need to look at what i have found so i need to analyze my expression so integration by substitution it needs a bit of uh, analyzing so i'm going to analyze this guy so since i'm saying u is equal to x squared plus 5 since u is equal to x squared plus 5 so i can easily find dx okay so what if okay what if i say du dx okay what if i find du dx so if i find du dx i'm going to find that my uh my derivative will be what um will be 2x okay so from here i can easily work out and make du subject to the formula so if I was to make du subject to formula by cross multiplying, I'm going to find that du is simply equal to um, 2x dx, okay? 2x dx. So if you are too observant, you're going to observe that du has become what? Has become the numerator, which is this one and that one. So you can easily replace from there, okay? So since we have said that is giving us that, so it's very possible for you now to repress and work it out. So what we are going to have, the expression we are going to have at this moment is going to be as follows. So we are going to have something like this. Let me quickly go down a bit. So we are going to have now something like, um, let me write down. We're going to have something like the integral of um, the integral of um, du over u to the power 3 over 2. Because du has replaced whatever that was on the numerator. Okay, this du, if you look from the from my solving above you're going to find that du has replaced so this du here this du here it has replaced um 2x dx okay 2x dx it has replaced two uh 2x dx after we add to find the derivative of that so from here this guy if you look at uh, the properties let's say 1 over x is the same as x to the power 
negative 1. Okay, so since we have that property, so we can easily work out that we can say this is the same as the integral of u to the power 3 over 2 du. Okay, like that. And then since we have that and we can easily work it out using this property if you look at that property here using this property so this property will help us to analyze the situation okay so from that property you can easily relate that expression as follows so this expression can be written as the integral of u to the power negative 3 over 2 du okay that's what we have so from here now we can use the power rule okay from here now we can use the power rule okay so when we use the power rule we know that we are now going to have u is um, u to the power 3 over 2 plus what plus 1 okay 3 over u plus 1 over this same exponential it becomes our over 3 over 2 plus 1 and then since we have integrated we can say plus c okay so c is the constant that we don't know may have been there so from there if you work out the if you work out the new uh, the power there and you work out there you're going to find that um, our expression will simply be equal to negative 2 u to the power half okay that's what it's going to be negative 2 u to the power half plus what plus c if you work out that one on top there so since we have worked out that guy what are we simply having so what we are simply having here is because this guy is to the power half this can easily be written as 2 over square root what square root u okay 2 over square root u okay because we know that we know that um we know that u to the power half is the same as 1 over u to the power half and this uh, u to the power half is the same as 1 over square root what u okay so that's what we have done there now after doing that what are you supposed to do okay well after doing that what are you supposed to do so remember that there is a c here you say plus what c okay so from here what we are going to say is where there is u we are going to put that value we had to say so we are going to say um negative 2 over square root that value we had to get which was x to the power 2 plus what plus c 5 and then plus c c because this guy is coming from the fact that we had to say that u we had to say that u was equal to uh x squared plus 5 okay so guys that's it for this uh first example okay let me quickly go to the next example let me quickly go to the next um example okay so if i was to get the next example let's say um i have something let me get something here so this will be my number two so let's say my number two is saying let's say uh you have uh find the integral of sine um sine to the power 5 sine to the power 5 cos x dx okay so we have that this is the integral we have been asked 
to find okay so for us to work out the integral of this guy what are we going to do so you know that it's very easy for us to 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 work out that guy for sine so that sine can become cos okay it's very easy so what are we going to do so please there is an x there so what are we going to say or what are we going to do so we can easily say let u be equal to you say sine what sine x let u be equal to sine x so if u is equal to sine x then what is du dx so we can easily say du dx is simply equal to cos what cos x okay since um du um dx is equal to cos x because the derivative of our uh, sine it is cos so if we can make du the subject of the formula so we can say du is equal to what um is simply equal to uh cos x dx okay so this cos x dx is repressing on the above expression okay this um this this guy this cos x dx will be replaced by what by du okay let me just i write that so this part uh this part will be replaced by what by du okay and then you will automatically be there okay so if that has been done what are we going to have if that has been done what are we going to have that's the question that everyone is asking themselves okay so from this point guys what are we going to do so and how will our expression look like so our expression will simply look like this so we are now integrating u to the power of 5 because u was was what u was equal to cos or sin x and then du so du has replaced du has replaced uh cos x dx let me i write that from here so this guy this du has replaced cos x dx okay from the original x and then this 5 has come from the fact that that part at the sin e to, um sin x to the power 5 but from this we had to say let u be equal to sin e x okay so that's where this u to the power 5 has come from okay after doing that we can easily find the integral of those guys we can easily find the integral of those guys so the integral here is just going to be u to the power 5 plus what 1 over 5 plus what t 1 and then e plus what t c okay so if you work it out very well there you are going to find out this so what you are going to find out is that you are going to have u to the power 6 over what t 6 plus what t c so that's what you have integrated but knowing that knowing that okay knowing that u knowing that u is equal to what sin e x so where there is u we are going to put sin e x where there is u we are going to put sin e x so when we put sin x there what are we having we're just going to have sin to the power 6 x over 6 plus what t c okay so that is what we have gotten so if we were to write it in a way that most of you would love it to look like we can just simply say uh, 1 over 6 sine x to the power 6 plus what t c 
so this is our solution okay all right so um let me do another question on this same uh, concept let me do another question on this same concept so the next one is find the integration of um, x square root um, you say x squared minus 1 dx okay x squared minus 1 dx okay so um, there you have the integration sign okay so if we were able to do that what can you do okay so solution okay so the only way if if we were able to get rid of this x is by getting that and we find the du dx okay so we can say let u be equal to x squared minus what one let u be equal to x squared minus what one okay then from there you can find du dx is simply equal to what du dx is simply equal to what um two x okay and then from there if you work it out you're going to find that um du is simply equal to 2x dx okay 2x dx but the only thing that we need to replace in our original expression is what x dx okay x dx so what are we going to do in order for us to have such uh, a value which we are all looking for okay so let me quickly go up and check up my uh, my working okay so there i am all right so here the only way you can find uh x to you uh, x dx is by simply divide by by two divide by two so that that one and that one they go okay so so two has to remain there so when that guy we do that what are we going to have so we are going to have that we are going to take note that um x dx will simply be equal to one over two du okay it's going to be equal to one over du okay so let me go a bit down okay so we have said x dx is equal to one over two du okay so if we have that that means that where there is a where there is that we are going to put what uh one over two du okay so from there what we can say that original expression is now going to become the integral of square root u okay square root u dot one over two du okay so um, i know i know some people they haven't gotten this part so this part here this part here has replaced x dx in the what in the um in the in the original part in the original expression and then this guy this u has replaced what we had which was x squared um minus one okay now upon knowing that what's next upon knowing that what's next so we can use the the scalar rule of uh, the scalar rule of integration whereby we can factorize out two so where we can factorize out two so this can simply be said one over two uh the integral of square root u du okay that's what that can be written and then from there like i said like i said like i said guys please um take note like i said let's say square root x square root x is the same as x to the power half not so so 
once we know that, since we know that, okay, we are going to do this. So what we are going to do is we are going to change, we are going to say half and then the integral of u to the power what? half, okay, du, okay. So after doing that, after doing that, you know that to find the integration on u, you are going to add a plus one, okay. So what we are now having now is we are going to say, uh, we are going to say half, then we say u half plus 1 over half plus what? 1, okay, half plus 1. And then we say plus c, okay, that's what we are going to have. So once we know that, what are we going to have? So when we work out, when we work out that, you just simplify the expression on top. So when you simplify the expression on top, it's going to be 1 over 2 dot, which is multiplication. You are going to have u 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. And then e plus what e, c. Okay. So... From that point, from that point, you can easily work it out. From that point, you can easily work it out. So when you simplify these guys, when you simplify these guys, you're going to discover that that guy and that guy, they are going to cancel when you work them out properly. So once you simplify like that, what you're going to have is um, you... 3 over 2 over what? 3 plus C, C. Okay, so that's what you have there. So here what's on remaining is just for me to simplify. So if I simplify that expression, I'm going to have something like 1 over 3 U 3 over what? 2 plus what? C. And then where there is um, where there is u, I'm going to replace it with what I said. Okay, so what I said was I said earlier on u should be equal to what u should be equal to x squared minus c one. So what we are going to do where there is u, we are going to put what we are going to put it. We are going to put um we are going to put that guy here. Okay, so meaning we are going to have 1 over 3 open bracket x squared minus 1 close brackets 3 over 2 plus c. Okay, so that's what we are simply going to have. Okay, so guys, um, I'm encouraging you to go on this same channel there are some more questions that i've solved on integration please make sure that you you subscribe so for this for this question that's the answer so i'm going to give you an assignment of more questions that you are going to solve i'm going to give you uh, an assignment of more questions that you guys can check out and solve so i'm going to write assignments okay please make sure that you um inbox me um on the line positive 26 on nine six five eight eight seven four seven four so you can WhatsApp me on that line your answers okay so um let me give you the the assignment that you guys can go and try out okay all right so the first one i'll give is um you find the integration of uh, the integration of x right square root x plus 1 dx okay so this will be your number one and then your number two 
you can uh, you can find the integration of x um, plus one cross bracket and then I can say x plus three to the power five okay and then um, okay there it has gone x okay and then the other one that I can give you is um, the other one that I can give you is this one okay so um, this one is say find the integration of um, 1 over x in what in x dx okay find the integration of 1 over x um, dx so how can I solve this one how can I solve this one so this one I'll say solution okay so for this one what you can say you can say let u be equal to okay let u be equal to in x okay let u be equal to in x okay so that okay when we we do that so that when we do that what are we going to have so what we are going to have is we can now simply look for dy dx so do uh, sorry du dx okay so we can look for du dx so du dx in this case it is just one over x okay i'm sure you guys you you know how to find um that guy so from there you can easily know that um you can easily know that du is equal to one over x dx okay one over x um one over x dx okay so from there you can um you can simply work it out one over dx so that one over dx that is du okay one over dx that is du okay so if we go up there you find that um you find that when this guy is replaced when this guy is replaced um when this guy is replaced this guy so when you go up when this guy is replaced by you you are remaining with that other part which is just one over x dx okay one over x dx and looking at things the way things are it means that um that guy has simply been what has simply been replaced that guy has simply been replaced okay so when you check out this is what you are going to have when you check out since that guy has been replaced since that guy has been replaced so because of that fact that guy has been replaced we are simply having we are simply having the integral okay the integral of one over u du okay since that guy has been replaced so we are just simply looking for the integral of um one over du okay because that part of one over x dot one over u okay one over u so this u replaced in what in x okay then there is a dx there so this part this part here it has been replaced by uh du and then this guy is the one who is just remaining okay so from there if we work it out this is what we are going to find if we work out that guy we are going to find that the the integral of one over u is just in okay in modulus of what u in modulus of u um plus what c okay so what was our u so uh 
when you look at our u, our u was in x. So what we are finding now is in in where there is um, u, you are going to put another in x like that. Okay, you are going to put in x and then plus c. Then you say plus c. Okay, yeah, that's it can put plus C there. So that's, this is the final answer for this question. Please guys, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you also make sure that you submit your assignment. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.